What up, YouTube? It's your boy Stonebone Boxing here. Seeing you with uh, another video. Just wanted to holler at the fight world one more time. Grab uh, some snacks. I don't know what I'm snack on yet. I don't know if I want me some love. Uh, but some uh, chips and uh, dip, you know what I mean? Some kind of cheese dip. Or some motherfucking hot wings, you understand me? Uh, I'm leaning towards hot wings, though. I'm trying to eat less meat, man, but fucking those hot wings, man. Just, just get to me. But, Wilder Fury 2. It's, uh, what time is it? 6? Like 6 15 Mountain Time. So we got a few minutes before uh, we already. I've been watching the YouTube, uh, the YouTube telecast, uh, the ESPN two. I think was on now and the FS one. <laughs> then I was watching the ESPN Plus uh, footage. So it's a whole lot going on. You know, it's a lot of energy being built up to uh, lead to this fight tonight. So I just wanted to uh, touch base with y'all one more time. You know the. But they say the last words before the, or the quiet before the storm. And now everybody been making a lot over the rumors of Fury. Uh, I mean, him covering up the glasses, the, the gaining weight, all of the different things, the different, uh, I call them distractions, or the different thing they throwing out to keep your mind off of what's really going on. You know what I mean? They don't. I want you to, to be really pay attention to what's going to happen. They want to have all these different excuses, have you looking left, right, front, back, looking for <laughs> an excuse. I think this is going to be a good theory. He's going to have his, uh, good movement. He's a little heavier. So maybe it'll be more uh, more upward, upward body movement instead of just movement with his feet. Maybe he will try to sit down on his punches a little bit. Uh, so, I mean, I guess he felt more weight is a better anchor for him, you know, so I'm really going to just take Fury at his word for it, you know what I mean? I'm not going to try to play these games, these mind games, these what do these mean games. <coughs> he said this is what he's going to do. So now you got to do it, Fury. Now you got to do it. And Wilder, them, Wilder coming in, uh, I guess they came in the same amount of weight over from their last one. The Wilder looked chiseled, he looked uh, fresh, he looked uh, strong, he looked, looked like he's ready to, uh, like I say, to assume the, assume the throne, you know what I mean? Or, or he died uh, be, to be ready to be crowned, you know? He's ready to be crowned as the best, the best fighter in the world, the heavyweight champion of the world. And this is going to put so much more pressure on uh, AJ to make this fight. <coughs> if we get a master class out of this, and we get a, just say a late Wilder stoppage, a 10 round stoppage by Wilder, and AJ uh, goes on to fight Pulev, and then Wilder does it again with Fury, and they say that'll be in June. They talking about AJ not fighting until June. So in theory, Wilder would be done to have four fights in the span of time that uh, AJ has had two. Or a two, well, it'd be three with the pool that fight. So Wilder would've been had, shit, five fights. He'd have had, uh, he would have the Brazil fight, the Ortiz fight, two Fury fights, and uh, the Dominic Brazil fight. So man, that's a lot of fights. I think Wilder's sharp. I think he's fresh. I think he's uh, going from one camp to another. Sometimes at this age, it could it could be bad for you. But I think in the heavyweight division, where I mean the, the punch output is not as high, and the type of uh, resistance you're gonna have to put up or deal with from a fighter like Fury is not so much power. It's just gonna be uh, irritating movement, jerkiness. A lot of different things that Fury does well that can 
that can get under your skin and make you not fight the best fight that you're capable of. So I'm, I'm just gonna be real tuned in. I got a few minutes. I'm, I'm, like I said, I'm right here to the uh, King Supers. Uh, the King Super that is a uh, Kroger's or down south it'll be Kroger's. I mean, other places it'll be Bankers. Uh, city market, yeah, it's just a little grocery store. So, so I'm about to run in here, grab me some little snack on thing, and get ready for this wire fight. Now, I think it's a big fight. Uh, I wish I'd have went up to Denver and watched it with my brother, but uh, got tied up for a little while, so I had business. Wasn't able to make it up to Denver, so I'm gonna be at home watching it uh, on my TV, supporting with my uh, with the wife me and my. My son, and we're gonna be supporting uh, Wilder. We're gonna be pulling for you. We expect you to do great things. And uh, I just wanted to touch base with y'all real quick, man. And, uh, I'm gonna catch y'all on the next one. This is Boy Stone on Boxing. I'll probably be back tonight. Yeah, I mean, I might give you a, a post fight reaction or something like that to what I see, how I felt about it, and, and everything else. So it's Boy Stone on Boxing. I'm gonna catch y'all on the next video. Like I say, man, smoke a couple with your boys, man. Smoke a couple with your boys.